Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Dustin and I'm so glad that you're here joining me today. I'd love to share with you some thoughts that I had on having a positive attitude. John C. Maxwell, the great author, said attitudes are nothing more than habits of thought. And isn't that true? Have you ever been around somebody consistently who has a negative attitude? It wears on you. And soon you've had enough and you've either got to excuse yourself from the situation or you might blow up on this person, right? Because really negativity, negativity is something that none of us need around us. Is that negative person you? I remember one time I was walking with a friend and I was having a bad day. I wasn't very happy about a lot of stuff. And he said to me, Dustin, when you have a bad attitude, it affects the way others think. Controversially, if you're doing well and have a great positive attitude, that affects others as well. Earl Nightingale said, your positive attitude has a positive effect on the way others view you. And so think about this. I want to tell you a story about two boys. They were doing an experiment. One boy had a super positive attitude and one boy had a negative attitude. And so this experiment was that they were going to put each one of them in a room full of horse manure and see what would happen. So they put the negative boy in the room full of horse manure. He gets in there and starts complaining immediately. It's dirty. It stinks. It's disgusting. There's disease in here. And he complains and complains and complains and sits up against the wall and does nothing. After a few minutes, they take him out. Then they put the boy with the positive attitude into the same room full of horse poop. After a couple of minutes, they go back in to check on him and poop is flying all over the place. The boy dove in and he's digging and digging and digging. And they asked, what are you doing? And he responded, with all of this horse poop, there has to be a horse in here somewhere. You see what I'm saying, my friends? Every day we get to make a choice on how our attitude is going to be. And it is a matter of choice. I'm not saying that you're not going to experience hard times or have to face difficult situations. But what I am saying is that your attitude from the very beginning of the day can determine what kind of a day you are going to have. Several years ago, I was in Spain. And when I was there, we were getting a ride from somebody from one place to another. And this gentleman ran out of gas. Now, I would have been a little bit frustrated. He was happy as he could be. We had to walk a few blocks to the closest gas station and get gas. But when I asked him, how come you were still so happy? He said, because tomorrow I would have had to take a trip to a long place away where there aren't very many gas stations. By running out today, it gives me a chance to fill up my car. What a great perspective 
on life. Recently, all of us have seen gas prices rise throughout the nation. Friends in Maryland, <coughs> excuse me, are saying that their gas prices are over $5 a gallon. I have friends in California where their gas prices are nearing $8 a gallon. I have a son that lives in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's over $5 a gallon. Here in Utah, so far, we're only paying just over $4 a gallon. Now friends, I've never paid over $4 a gallon for gas before. It's a first for me. But I saw something recently that really put things into perspective. It was a picture of a gas pump at an exuberant price. But the caption below said, Although I'm frustrated about having to pay these high gas prices, at least my home is safe and I'm not having to dodge bombs that are raining down on my city. What a great perspective. What a great attitude. And so when we have that type of attitude, we can take trials and hard times and hardships that we will face throughout our life. And remember the good. Remember the positive. Remember the blessing that we receive from the trials that we have. So my challenge to you, my friends, is go about your every day, count your blessings, and remember to have a positive attitude. When it gets hard, when it gets tough, in the mornings, make it a habitual practice to look in the mirror and say, I'm going to have a good day today. Because that will rub off on those that you encounter throughout the day and watch how your days improve. We have control of our attitudes. I appreciate you, my friends. I am so glad that you're joining me on this positive journey. Share with your friends. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy material like this, and let's make the world a better place together.